Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to recover a dining room chair. The covers on dining chairs get a lot of use and often need to be replaced long before the chair itself has worn out. Now this might seem like a daunting task, but it's actually simpler than you think. Here's what you'll need. To take apart the chair, you'll need a multi-head screwdriver. Some chairs, like this one, are also put together with an Allen key, so check your own. Then you will need pliers and a flathead screwdriver to remove the staples. Taylor's chalk will be used to mark the pattern pieces. You will need good scissors to cut out your pieces. You will also need a stitch ripper to take apart your chair to give you the pattern for your new one. I'm going to sew my pieces together with a strong polyester thread. Today, I will be using Wonderfill's 40 weight Master Quilter for its strength and durability. I will be top stitching my seams with a 12 weight cotton spaghetti. This will give my seat a professional looking finish. I will need a large eye 9014 top stitching needle for my sewing machine. As always, I will be using the 80 weight deco bob in my bobbin. You will also need fabric to make your new cover. I have chosen a leather look fabric. The best way to determine how much you need is to take your pattern pieces with you and lay them out on the fabric at the store. And finally, to reassemble my chair, I'll need a good strong staple gun. The staple should be at least a quarter inch long, so make sure you buy the right size. The first step is to remove the existing cover. Flip your chair over and locate the screws that hold the chair back to the seat. Remove these screws and the chair will separate into two pieces. You will notice that the seat often has a separate piece under the chair to cover the bottom neatly. This can be created at the end with either your new chair fabric or a less expensive fabric. I am going to use a reclaimed shopping bag as a neat and inexpensive under seat cover. Use pliers and a flathead screwdriver to remove the staples that hold the cover in place. This will take a bit of time and patience. If you are recovering several chairs that are the same, you will only need to be careful with the first chair, as the old cover will be the pattern for your new chairs. If you are only covering one chair, take pictures of it before you pull it off, so you can see where the lines of stitching run. Now, using a stitch ripper, take apart the seams on the covers once you have pulled them off the chair. With the chalk, mark the pieces as you take them apart so you can remember which pieces the chair front, seat, and so on. Also, make a mark on the piece where the seams will meet. Once you have all the pieces separated, give them a light press and use them as your pattern. Lay the pieces right side up on the right side of your fabric and cut around them. Make a note of how wide the seam allowance is on the original piece and duplicate it when you cut out the piece. Transfer all your markings to the new piece. Now we are ready to sew the new pieces together. As the covers tend to stretch over time and you do want a nice tight fit, make your seam allowance a scant 1 8 inch larger than the original. Sew the front of the backrest to the back. Then switch to the 12 weight spaghetti. Press the seam to the front side. Top stitch a quarter of an inch from the seam.
Carefully pin one side backrest piece to the piece you have just created. You may need to snip the large back piece within the seam allowance to get a smooth sewing line. Stitch this in a long continuous seam. Press the seam towards the chair front. Again, switch to the top stitching thread and top stitch the backrest. Then I will repeat this process for the other side. I'm going to stitch on one side in a continuous U seam. Top stitch it with my heavier thread. Your sewing is done. Now pull the new covers tightly over the chair back and seat. Load a staple gun with staples and start on the seat piece. Start by stapling in each corner, then adding staples along the sides. When you get to the corner, fold the fabric all together and place several staples right in the corner. For the seat back, fold under the raw edge around the legs, then tightly staple the back side to the underside of the backrest. Overlap the front over the back and staple again, making sure to line up the leg openings with the opening in the backrest. The next step is to reattach the screws and tighten the chair together. The last step is to cut a square of the bottom cover fabric of your choice. 
Lay it over the raw edge of your seat cover and staple around the edge to finish the seat. Take care not to place these staples in the same spot as your last row. And there you have it, a beautiful new dining chair. You can save yourself hundreds of dollars in reupholstering fees and save our landfills from unnecessary waste by learning this simple recovering technique. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see more great tutorials. You can also leave a comment below to let us know what you'd like to see next. We'll see you all next time.